Hi, Dan. Hey, Bob. How are you doing? Yeah. Great. Dan? Hi. Yeah. Nice Thanks for having me come in here. Yeah. I heard you had some pretty decent minerals that I'd like to look at. Just a few. Yeah. <laughs> that silver caught my eye immediately when I walked in the door. That is really Isn't that quite, some? A, quite a rock. All right. we know, it came out of a real old collection in Europe. It's all, you know, they were pretty secretive about it, mm -hmm. so, you know, which is a neat old label. It's 18 centimeters when you measure it. Yeah, isn't that Kinda something? like a 18 Medusa. centimeters high. Came out of an old collection. I love the fact that you've at least got the old label there. Yeah. I think that's great. Yeah. The provenance on some of these things is so important. Oh, sure. Look at that. Look at that. Wonderful. You know, I've seen hundreds of Cogsbergs. This is a winner. Yeah. <laughs> really something else. Look at that. A little bit of calcite on it. I'll think. be there. Yeah. 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 Must have taken somebody a long time to bend all those wires. <laughs> yeah. Gee whiz, isn't that terrific? Well, we don't have a lot to do in the winter in St. Louis, <laughs> yeah. you know. <laughs> okay. It's cold. and I'm going to put that back, and I'm going to let you put this right. back. And while we're on the subject of native elements, I see a gold over there that we ought to take a look at. That's an old-timer, okay. too. Is it? Uh, the label says 1918. 1918, you know, all I right. Mean, so, yeah, let's get it out. All right. It's really nicely, nicely crystallized. Oh, yeah. Well, I love it when they're on a matrix like that. Yeah. You know, you see these things loose or, you know, no matrix. Yeah, they're beautiful, but this has a beautiful nest of gold in a matrix. It's if wonderful. you look on the back of this label, there's additional writing. Yeah, that's oh, all I and I'd there. love yeah. to know what was blacked out. <laughs> <laughs> probably the, na the name of the miner. Yeah, probably the guy, yeah. Who, <laughs> you know, the guy who stole it out. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Mine, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't think these this mine is not producing anything now. No, that, so. I think that's actually an administrative area, and that's that's probably that's from Verispatak or, yeah, yeah. or the Rosia, Mon, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Montana. Beautiful. Really. But, uh, yeah, a lot of that is is electrum, but this one looks like it's pretty high in yeah, gold content. I think it's got more yeah. gold. Good. Yeah. I've seen a few boronites from from Yayawa in that area, but uh, this one is it's, heavy. It's amazing. So many crystals and all beautifully twinned and cogswheel crystals. Now, exactly where is that from? What's the locality? It's uh, the Viboris uh, v -Boris mine. I guess that's how they pronounce it. Mm -hmm. I, I don't mm -hmm. know my Spanish yeah. so yeah. well. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, they, uh, they, they've been producing boronites from there for yeah, many years, bit, but nothing like this. Yeah. You know? That's the giveaway that it's, yeah. this, this cannot be from anywhere else except yeah. uh, Bolivia with yeah. the quartz associated with it. That's wonderful, wonderful uh, specimen. Pyrite matrix. Yep, yeah. look at that. Look at that. And stable, too, yeah. obviously. Yeah. We have one more real special thing. It's oh, yeah. a, a new species. Yeah, you guys, you always yeah, have we, something put away. I have something, you know. I mean, <laughs> Let's see. Everybody knows Marshall <laughs> Sussman, I'm sure. And sure. He was just honored with a new species was named he? after him. And that's probably the best one. You know, the beauty of this is that now when they find a mineral to name it after somebody, it's usually a little crumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so, he got lucky on this one. Yeah, he sure did. That is really a winner. Now, where's that from? That's from the Wessels mine. Is it? And they're, okay. They're about two years out of the ground. Okay, Black Rock District. when they first okay. came out, they uh, were analyzed in Africa, and they thought they were bustamite. <laughs> okay. And, um, of course, uh, subsequent work has since found that uh, it's actually a new species. Okay. So. Is it a manganese species? Yeah. It, okay. it, well, it's it's close to a sarandite, actually. Oh, and, okay. And, uh, All right. Great. Chemistry. Beautiful crystals. Yeah. My gosh. Yeah. For, for a new mineral, that's yeah, ex huge. exceptional. Okay. It really is exceptional for a new mineral. As I say, you know, most new minerals, you need a glass. Yeah. Not this. Yeah. No, it's not marvelous. that one. <laughs> yeah, Marshall got lucky on that. Yeah. <laughs> wonderful. So. Thank you very okay, much. That's thank wonderful. You. What's all this I see behind you here? Those are delicious wines. Is it? Yes. Really? I see, and I, I see mineral pictures on the labels. I, I, I think the man to show you these would be the man who makes them. All right. Hi, Brad. <laughs> Hello, Good Bob. to see you again, by golly. Good to see you, too. You've got a great spread here. My gosh. You know, when I joined your club, I was anxious to get a few bottles of wine like this. And this idea of putting 
labels of minerals on the bottles. It's just fantastic. So what's new? Well, we have some new releases this year. Um, last year was our inaugural release of Mineral Wines here in Tucson, mm -hmm. and it, we had a great success there and have had a little momentum now with creating not only new wines, but some new artwork and a new look to our mineral image. So what we have are five wines this year that are new for release. Uh, we have a new look to the mineral labels with some nice gold borders, um, some embossing, and some spectacular minerals as well with a couple of new varieties, which means new art. Every variety that we make will have a, new, a different piece of art. What a great idea. Wonderful. This is new to me. Well, um, our Meritage is basically a new vintage of a wine that we make that's a Bordeaux blend. It is made of Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, and Merlot. Hmm. And uh, because last year's vintage won Best of Class of Region at the California State Fair, which right. was a real honor for us, we decided to put gold on the label. And so we're having a lot of fun with this, uh, formerly of the Barlow Collection and uh, now uh, the darling of our collection. And so we honor the Meritage with some gold on the label. Right. Another new label we have is um, Amazon, uh, rather Aquamarine with uh, fluorite from Arango Mountain. And our Cabernet Franc is a terrific variety, a little lighter in character, but full of a very wonderful aromas and uh, very nice cherry flavors and uh, also very fun for us. And especially oh with God. the art being done by Fred Wilda, he oh, did a great yeah. job Fred's a great these. artist, yeah. This is an incredible decanter, um, which uses not only just beautiful Look art. Look at that. But yes, we have amethyst and quartz crystals inside the wand. And this is something that has a lovely sound, doesn't it? And, and actually you have a chance to give a little contact of the crystal oven to this uh, wine that's being decanted now. There's a great, uh, it's a well-designed decanter because it does have a large surface area that allows great aeration of the wine. Mm. And for a wine that's freshly open or freshly bottled, our Merlot, Cabernet Franc, these go really well with an aerator or with a decanter. And it right. also has a great look to it. Yeah, they're it's very, beautiful. Just beautiful. Yeah, it's a beautiful piece of work. All right. Brett, thanks so much. Thank you. Very I'm going to get off camera so I can have a wine. Hey, that's <laughs> time for that.